Are we live? Hello, hello everyone. We're gonna wait a couple minutes just so people can hop on. But my name is Emily Hutchinson and this is a special episode of the Fall Peepsonality Live. And I'm so excited to be here. And I know that people hopping on are peeps lovers. And we did a recipe, so it's a Peeps and McCormick Spice recipe. And it is so delicious, you guys. It is a churro whoopie pie with dulce de leche cream inside. And it's so delicious. When I first made these, my husband was floored. He was like, oh my gosh. I was like, you can't eat those yet because I had to photograph them. But then we devoured them and I love it so much. So let's see, do we have a lot of people hopping on? Are we ready to go? Maybe people can give us like a thumbs up or a heart or let us know where you're watching from because I love that. My sister is manning the camera. Her name is Johanna and she is amazing. But we are in Arlington, Washington. And we are in the same little town that we grew up in and our parents grew up in and our grandparents grew up in. So it's super cool. So let us know where you're watching from. I would love to know. And if you're just hopping on now, my name is Emily Hutchinson and this is a special fall episode of Peepsonality Live. And if you wanna watch any episode of the previous Peepsonality Lives, you can hop over to peepsbrand.com and then there's gonna be all the videos and then Easter one is on there. You guys might recognize me from that because I was on um, in Easter time as well, but they have um, a bunch of recipes on there which are really fun crafts, all different sorts of stuff that you can do with your family. And family is so important. So to get started, I'm gonna show you what we are doing today. Look at those, these are the whoopie pies right here. And this is, oh you guys, this deliciousness, I cannot even. Inside in this cream, there are peeps in there. The pumpkin peeps inside there. And so we thought it would be fun, since I am a decorator, we thought it would be fun to do a pumpkin top on top of the whoopie pie. It is one of my most popular designs. So it's super fun. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. It's really way simpler than it looks. But um, another thing that's really special is McCormick Spice is really special to me and my family because it's, I learned to bake when I was five. Five, I did this like 10, no, five, and my grandma taught me to bake and she taught me with McCormick Spices. And so Joe can attest to this because she's manning the camera, but that's what we grew up using is McCormick Spices, right Joe? I did, yes. So it's like all full circle, so this is really fun. So to start, we're gonna start on the whoopie pies itself. And this is gonna to have to refrigerate for two hours. So you don't have to preheat, you don't have to preheat your oven yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with um, a small bowl and I'm gonna start with my dry ingredients. So I have a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour. I'm just gonna put that in there. And I also have the recipe all written down. I think it's really important to write things down on, and have a hard copy of that so you can look back and check. It's really important that you get all the ingredients right and precise because baking is a science. Okay, and so then we got baking powder. We got half of a teaspoon baking powder oop, and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. So we got double leavening agents in there. Let me move that. And then we have, a, it's a quarter teaspoon of just regular salt. And then we have a teaspoon and a half of the cinnamon and this Ground cinnamon, it smells so good, you guys. It's like my whole house smells like the fall and holidays, and it's my favorite thing is to bake with cinnamon. So then we're gonna whisk up the dry ingredients. And also, since Joe is on the camera, if you have any questions for me or um, about Peeps or McCormick and I can try and answer those for you or about this recipe, go ahead and put it in the comments and then we'll try to get to your questions. But has anyone told us where that they're watching from yet? Do you know, Joe? I don't think Joe is looking. I, I am looking. Mm. There are just so many comments coming in right now. Um, looks like a lot of people are excited. Yay! I'm excited and I'm so glad you're here. We are so excited. Okay, so Joe's gonna kind of scroll through those recipes because I mean the comments because I love to know where you guys are watching from. Um, so in another bowl, so since we sent our dry ingredients aside, in this bowl we have a quarter cup of vegetable shortening. And vegetable shortening, you wanna be really careful with that. Make sure that it has not expired and make sure it's not hiding in the back of your shelf, getting all warm because it can get rancid really fast. So you just wanna make sure that your vegetable shortening is good. We got one half of a cup of firmly packed brown sugar. 
and I'm just gonna add that. And then we're going to use a, a hand mixer, and I do have a stand mixer too, so we're gonna move to that in just a second, but um, a, a hand mixer is so perfect for this. So we're gonna mix these together, just like that. And then we're gonna mix it until it gets light and fluffy. So this will only take a minute. And if you use your stand mixer for this part, you might have to uh, mix it a little bit longer because your paddle is doing a different thing than this, these whisks right here. And I would not recommend using the whisk atta attachment on your mixer. So see how that's getting fluffy? We're just gonna turn that up just a little bit, but it's moving in and out. We're just making sure all that brown sugar is mixed in with our vegetable shortening. Okay, that is looking nice and beautiful. Look at that, you guys. This recipe is so delicious. I know I already said that before, but holy moly, you guys, just wait. Okay, so after we've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add one large egg. And you can pull that straight from the fridge. It does not have to be at room temperature, which is really nice. And so I'm just gonna mix that in, and then I'm gonna turn it off for a second. So we're gonna use one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So this McCormick vanilla extract is, it smells so good. It's like heaven in a bottle. So when I measure my uh, vanilla it, for one teaspoon, I always, my grandma taught me how to just kind of like billow your vanilla teaspoon. So I just, I'm just gonna pour and it's just gonna billow over just a little bit and then in there just like that. Because a little bit more vanilla never hurt anybody. So I'm just gonna put that back on and then I'm gonna mix this back together. Joe, can you smell that already? I bet you can, can smell the vanilla from here. So huh? good. And yeah. then, oh my gosh, yes. It's so delicious. And the brown sugar is just going to give that really rich flavor. Okay. So I've got this and I've got my dry ingredients. And then I have half of a cup of buttermilk right here. And if you don't have buttermilk and you're in a pinch, I have a tip. So if you do just half of a cup of milk, preferably whole milk, and you add half of a teaspoon of distilled white vinegar in there, let it sit for, sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, it will do the same job activating your leavening agents as this buttermilk would. So I prefer, if you can, if you can get regular buttermilk, use that. But, I mean, we're busy moms, we're busy people. You know, being in a pinch, it's nice to have an alternative. Okay, so we're going to just add a little bit of the buttermilk in, and then we're gonna alternate with our dry ingredients. So we're gonna just put in a little bit of our dry ingredients. And the reason why we're doing that is because we don't wanna overwork the gluten and the flour, because that will make for a tough whoopie pie, and we don't want that. All right, then we're gonna add a little bit more buttermilk. So we're gonna do it in just maybe three stages is always a safe, safe amount and then we'll end with more we'll end with our flour okay so we're just gonna mix that in and we're just gonna mix until incorporated we don't want to get crazy and just keep mixing and mixing because like I said you don't want a tough a tough whoopie pie here okay so I'm just gonna mix that up and then the remaining dry ingredients I smell that cinnamon roaring out of this bowl you guys it smells so good oh man I would love to know, I told you guys that McCormick spices have been being used in my family since I was a little girl. And so have you guys been using McCormick spices forever like me? I mean, it is like the best spices ever. And you can, you know, they have that red lid right here so you can always kind of notice where they're at. And if you didn't notice, I love red. So it's just could not be more perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. And then also what you wanna do is you wanna put plastic wrap over the top and you're gonna refrigerate this for two hours. So I'm just gonna set this aside and then we are going to, I'm gonna show you how to do the, um, the topping. So we are going to take, I'll take my um, batter that's been in the fridge for two hours. I'll take that out in just a minute, but we're gonna mix this cause I kind of wanna be, um, 
be prepared for when I bring that out of the refrigerator because then it will start to get a little bit room temperature and it will be harder to work with. So the colder we can keep it, the better. So what I have here is I have, let me just double check. I have a quarter cup of sugar and then I have three teaspoons of that cinnamon in there. And then I have an eighth teaspoon of salt and you're just gonna put it into a pie dish or um, another uh, flat dish that you have. Even like a cake pan would work great. And then you're just gonna whisk that up. Oh yes, this is this is the churro part of the whoopie pies, you guys. Look at how deep and beautiful that is. And you can just swirl it around and mix it up or you can keep whisking because see there's a little bit of that cinnamon right there. We don't wanna leave that behind. That's really important. Okay, look at that. Doesn't that smell good, Joe? I know you can uh -huh, smell that. You're does. being really yes. quiet, but I can tell. I, I can't help she's, it. She's like really close to the phone, like almost smelling this. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna just jet to my refrigerator really quick, and I'm gonna grab this out. And uh, see, I'm back, I'm back in a GIF. I'm, I'm just right here. And then, okay, so this is my dough that's been refrigerating for two hours. And I have already prepared a pan right here hi guys it is um a pan with just a sheet of parchment over top so this needs to be prepared so we can move from here to there to there okay so i'm going to clear my little working space just a tiny bit and i'm so excited to do the filling because it has peeps in it and peeps have been around for nearly seven decades which is insane it was made in 1953. I'm like, oh my gosh, that blows my mind. I'm such a peep lover. I think my favorite peeps are probably the chicks. And now I'm eating the pumpkins and I'm like, oh my gosh, these might be my favorite now. They're so good. Okay, what are your favorite peeps? I would love to know. Did I already ask that? You didn't, but it looks like a lot of people like the ghost peep. Oh yeah, I've got ghosts back here. Oh yeah. We like the ghost peeps too, they're really good. Those are so fun too. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take um, a cookie scoop. I'm taking, I'm using an ice cream scoop because my cookie scoop is a little bit smaller and you need something that's two tablespoons size wise. You can make it a little smaller, that would be fine too. You just want them to be uniform and the same shape. So what I did was I took a, um, tablespoon and I dumped water in here just to see how much I would need to fill it up for two tablespoons. So if I fill it up, um, almost, so it'll look like that. If I fill it up about that full, it's going to be about two tablespoons of this batter. And then I'm going to put this right down into this, um, mix that we did. And then I'm just going to take a spoon and I'm just going to spoon that over top. And then I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna move this guy over to my pan right here. And if you would wanna take, you would just wanna make sure that this is round because when it bakes in the oven, you don't want any sides to be a little bit wonky. So I'm just gonna do, I'll do another one so you guys can see here. So I'm just gonna add one more. And then you wanna place them about two inches apart on your baking sheet because it will grow. And the purpose of also using it, um, refrigerating it, excuse me, for two hours is that it's going to make it so it rises appropriately and it doesn't get too, like we don't want a flat whoopie pie. We want a little bit of a lift for it. So, okay, so I'm gonna swap this out. So I'm just gonna move this really quick and I'm gonna show you, I baked these earlier. So this is what they will look like. And let me just show you, look at that whoopie pie right there. And it's nice and soft and just delicious. And you can see that there's the cinnamon sugar on the top of there. So yummy, you guys, it smells like heaven in my kitchen right now. Okay, so I'm gonna move to doing the filling. And this, oh my gosh, one of the most delicious things that I have ever tried. So I have my, we're gonna have to use a microwave, that's why I moved my microwave back there so it could have easy access. But I have eight pumpkin peeps in here. These guys are just ready to join the party and make it so much more fun. So I'm gonna just put this in here. It fit! <laughs> Turn that on. It's gonna be about a minute, a minute and a half. You wanna stir halfway through. So I'll go ahead and stop this 
and stir it halfway through just so I know that the peeps are cooking evenly. And you wanna be really careful when you're cooking with peeps because they expand really fast. And um, you know, they're just soft and fluffy and delicious. So let's see, I'm about 38 seconds and they're starting. See, I'll show you guys. They're starting to melt. So we've got a little bit more time, but they are ready to party. Okay, let's go. A little bit longer. Um, did anyone tell us what their favorite peep was? I would love to know. I'm literally dying to know. So it's the, the winner is still the ghost peep, and then we have the pumpkin peep and the chick. Obviously. Obviously the chick. Yes. You guys. I know. I love I love peeps so much. And the great thing about this is it really adds like a delicious, like marshmallowy like flavor to the dulce de leche. And so it just so I don't know if you guys are familiar with dulce de leche. It is sweetened milk is essentially what it is. And so this is what it looks like when it is before it's going into the filling. So so it looks like we have monster peeps, peeps cats. We've got gingerbread and bunnies. Oh, oh my, um, gingerbread, what? I know, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so these these guys, this these pumpkins are hot and they're ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my mixing bowl and I'm gonna move my mixer over so it can be like front and center so you guys can see what I'm what I've got going on okay I'm gonna move that all right let me lock it down move her over okay she likes to be front and center anyways so oops hold on Just, I've got a couple of little cords here Joe thank you yeah check out those check out those whoopie pies one more time <laughs> <laughs> I love it okay we are almost plugged in action we're ready okay so i had to plug it i had to you know do a little switch situation but so i've got the marshmallows in here and we're just going to mix that up and then i have 10 ounces of cream cheese and so a block of cream cheese that you get from the store is going to be eight ounces typically and then so what you're going to do is you're just going to do a quarter of your next block so one whole block and then a quarter of your second block so I'm just gonna add, wait, let me turn it off first because I don't want anything crazy to happen right now. But look at that marshmallow, you guys. I am so excited. Oh, and one other thing that's really important is the cream cheese needs to be at room temperature before you start putting it into your mixture because it will not mix smoothly. There will be chunks. This happened to me. I've made this recipe, I wanna say five times. And so the first time I made it, I didn't put it at full room temperature and there were um, chunks of the cream cheese. And so you wanna mix this for about two minutes. It's kind of a long process. So for the sake of television, I'm just gonna add in, I'm gonna add in the dulce right now. So I'm just gonna put that on. But when you're making this at home, remember the two full minutes of mixing so it's light and fluffy. And then we're gonna add two thirds of, look at, look at, oh, Oh my gosh it's so good so I did a really easy hack when I made this I did um, sweetened condensed milk and cooked it that way so there's lots of ways online or you can do it the old-fashioned way which I believe is sugar and whole milk I could be wrong but um so if you you can make it however you want um but then you're gonna add that in and you're gonna mix for about two more minutes and it's just gonna keep mixing and it's already looking really delicious and beautiful even though I didn't do that two minute process but the two minutes is really important just to make sure all of your cream cheese is nice and incorporated okay let me move this guy again okay so I have a prepared pastry bag with the cream already in here and if you Try not to eat a whole bunch of it and so you can put it in to fill your whoopie pies, but it is so good. Um, so what I'm gonna do is you could also use a, a thick freezer bag, a Ziploc bag to do this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just snip off the end of your pastry bag or piping bag, and then you're just gonna let that cream come out 
there. And I did tie the end just so I don't have some crazy explosion, you know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one part of the whoopie pie and we're gonna fill that. Let me show you, get up close so you can see. Oh yes. Okay, let me get a better grip so I can just kind of go to town here. But look at that filling just pillow out of there. It's so delicious, you guys. I wish you could smell this. Okay, and then we're just gonna put our nice, soft whoopie pie on top here. You can fill it up like crazy if you want. You can put a lot more filling in if you would like. You know what, let's go ahead, let's, let's just, let's load this one up, okay. Mike will like this one, my husband's name is Mike. Mike, this one's for Mike. Okay, so we're just gonna load this guy up right there and then put our top on. But look at how delicious that looks. So good, you guys. And then here's my favorite part. I love, I love this part. So we're gonna decorate, like I told you in the beginning, we're gonna do pumpkin tops. Super simple, super easy. I have my orange buttercream here and I just colored it a little um, orange and then added a little brown to my buttercream to make it really look like a pumpkin. And what we're gonna do, Joe, if you can get, here, let me move this stuff so you can kind of get close. What we're gonna do, I have a tip 2A here. And if you don't have a tip at home, you, you can use a just plain pastry bag and cut a hole in like we did, like we did right here. Or you can use um, a freezer bag as well. It will not be as perfect, but it, it will still work. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in one at, at one end of your whoopie pie, but you're not gonna go to the very edge. And you're gonna squeeze and then you're gonna pull into the center and stop. And then you're gonna turn around and you're gonna go all the way around your whoopie pie, just pulling into the center. And this is so cute, it's the aerial view on a pumpkin. See how that, you can already tell it's looking like a pumpkin, how cute is that? Okay, then we're just gonna keep going all the way around and as it gets tighter and smaller, we're just gonna have less room to pipe in. So we're just gonna pull it into the center. And then we're gonna put our little pumpkin stem right here. And we have a tip 18 and it's just a star tip, just a really simple star tip. So I'm gonna press a little bit. I'm gonna be touching the yellow buttercream, that, I mean the, excuse me, the orange buttercream that I already have right there. And I'm gonna squeeze and I'm gonna gently pull up and then I'm gonna release. And then that will give that darling little stem right there Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And then we're going to use some green and we're gonna use a tip five. And that is just a small, I got a little bit of orange right there. That's just a really small round tip. So like with the yellow, I mean, why do I keep saying yellow? Excuse me, with the, I just have ch peep, peep chicks on my mind. Um, if we use the orange, I mean, like we did with the orange, you can just use a freezer bag and then cut the whole very small. And then we're just gonna make darling little vines down coming from the stem. Here, I'll kind of come over here so you can see. And you're just gonna do kind of like a little corkscrew there and just very whimsically place those vines around the stem and they just look just absolutely darling. Look at that. That is a masterpiece this will make anybody happy and proud. I mean, this too, right? Like, look at, if you don't wanna decorate them, you guys, this is so good. But I feel like I need to cut into this. Are you guys, you guys give some hearts? Give some yeah, thumbs up if you guys wanna cut into this? Okay, after I just decorated this, we have to cut into this, okay. Oh, yum, okay, here we go, here. We, oh my gosh, you guys, like I cannot look at how, look at that cream. It is so good. And then watch, watch this. Hold on, let me cut into this one with this monster, monster mount of cream right here. Look at that. This whoopie pie is delicious and so moist and soft. And I have to, I can't, I have her. Mm. Oh my gosh. You guys, that's so good. I'm sorry if you don't like eating on camera, but this recipe is a winner. I encourage you to try it. It is, um, 
the recipe and instructions and everything you need to make these churro whoopie pies with dulce de leche cream is on peepsbrand.com. So make sure to go on there, head there after this. And um, also, if you check out on um, Peeps Instagram, you can see the other Peepsnality lives that um, have been in the past, which are really fun. So, so many creative, wonderful minds coming together to um, celebrate Peeps and love Peeps. So, um, I am Emily Hutchinson at the Hutch Oven. If you liked what you saw, come and follow me too. And if you make this, please tag Peeps Brand and McCormick Spices so we can see on Instagram um, what you guys are making and that you guys made these. So I also have a video tutorial on the pumpkin tops on my page. Peeps shared it. So um, I would love to see what you guys make. But anyways, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to eat the rest of my whoopie pies off camera. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.